Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have an assortment of biscuits from the UK sent to us by Richard. Thanks so much, Richard. Yes, thank you. For sending us this variety to try. And we're just, we're looking through our stash and trying to see what kind of makes sense together. And we just had a lot of, some of them are kind of similar and some are kind of odd and in. So we're going to try a whole bunch of them right now. Yes, we are. Yeah, I think we have seven different ones to try. And we just had lunch. We just had lunch, so this is going to be quite a dessert. And we do have our tea with us. We have that coronation blend also sent to us by Richard. Yes, thank you. All right. So I think we've tried malted milk biscuits before, but I don't believe it was the Tesco brand. It was another brand. I don't remember which one. I just know we like them. Yeah, it seems like they're very, you know, very subtle and plain, but but very nice with a cup of tea. I think. Oh. Light and crumbly. Carefully baked to a classic recipe for a malty treat. Now should I look around here to see is there a tear here? A place to open. I'm not seeing one, but knowing how I am, I'll see it after. <laughs> we're, we're guilty of that. There we go. I don't know if I'd call them plain. I, I mean, I think they're light, light flavored. Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, it already broke. So. Well, that just makes the. Uh, Portion size. Easier. I was gonna split it in half. With you, but but well, that's what did I mean. Did you want the whole thing? Uh, <laughs> I, I, prior to turning on the camera, I was saying, "Do you want me to bring out the cookie cutting board, the biscuit cutting board?" He said, "No, let's just break it in half." And I'm just, it was already broken in half. Yeah, so, so that works. Because yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to eat a whole one of all. We have a lot to try, so we do. Mm -hmm. So all right, bring the dunkers. I, I will now. <laughs> Mm. I even like them not dunked, actually. I dunk mine because I've gotten a lot of feedback that I don't dunk my biscuits long enough. So I tried a little bit longer, but then I feel like oh, it feels too soggy to me. Yeah. I think I like just a quick dunk. Yeah, and the moment the camera's off. Oh, there's too many crumbs at the I bottom. I don't like the crumbs at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't bother me. That's why we have spoons. But uh, I like them dunked, non-dunked, just fine. I, I like the malt flavor of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, because those are so, they are light and crumbly, so it's not like some of them that are a bit harder. I do like a longer dunk to kind of soften them up a bit. But I feel mm -hmm. like you don't need much of a dunk to get those soft. And you're saying that you were informed that you're not dunking long enough. Mm-hmm. Exactly how many Mississippis should we do? <laughs> That's a good question. And it really does matter on the biscuit you're trying. Yes. And I know one of our viewers sent a video, I believe. Now I forgot the comedian, but it was like how <laughs> dunking different types of biscuits and how long and hmm. yeah. Okay. I forgot. I'm, I'm sure somebody will let us know who that is. Yeah, I like the flavor of those. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So these are malted milk twists with a vanilla flavor cream center. Nice. Do, I open that hmm? Do you want me to open that for you? Sure. Oh, and these are from Sainsbury's. These are Tesco. So we have a couple from Tesco. These are from Sainsbury's. Yes. Okay. I am. I'm not seeing this here. Here. <laughs> so fair game. Wherever. I, however, I open this. Okay. So this will be interesting. We'll go from plain to one that's got the cream in the center to one that's chocolate covered. Okay. Now, but this one is mangled. <laughs> um, I can take the mangled one. No, that's going to make me look like a cad. <laughs> why, why don't you just take a full one? How's it? Oh, All right. Oh, 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 that's, oh. Well, there we go. We've got two mangled ones. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> That's partial one. <laughs> it smells good. It can smell it the does. vanilla. Yeah. Okay. One Mississippi. <laughs> it's nice with a little extra vanilla cream in there, huh? Oh yeah. Talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
served as a little extra something. Yeah, a little something extra. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting to stick with plain, those malted milk are good, but if you want to go a little extra, get that vanilla cream. You want to reward yourself? <laughs> yeah, those are good. And then if you really want to reward yourself, you can go for the chocolate covered. <laughs> Yeah, These are by Tesco. Milk chocolate malted milk, light and crumbly, dipped in smooth milk chocolate for a classic malty treat. Want me to do it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, chocolate makes everything better. <laughs> Split these in half? Sure. Okay. We're on a roll. Thank you. You're gonna dunk? I'll try dunking it, yeah. I'm always iffy on the chocolate covered ones, but I think viewers have said, yeah, go ahead and dunk chocolate. Mmm. You want to restart? No. Okay. <laughs> it does make the, the chocolate nice Melt and melty. a little more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The malt and the chocolate. Yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. I like the combination. Mm. Those are tasty too. Even being a big chocolate lover, I, I really like that vanilla too. I'm not sure which one I like better. Maybe something with these malted milk biscuits. Something with that light vanilla. Yeah. I don't know. That's I mean, good. they're both good. Would it be too malty if you had any of these with Horlicks? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> like malt overload. and I've, Sounds very good. It does sound very good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking like these malted milk ones. That seems like it'd be a nice pairing. Yeah. Which we'll have to do. <laughs> okay. So we have the malt biscuits. Those are all finished. Right. We have four remaining biscuits here. Mm -hmm. Which would you like to have next? I don't know. Should we do the Fox's Crunch or we have these pink sugar shortbread? I was thinking these for last because I think they'll be the strongest flavor. We have neighbors doing work in their yard that's making a lot of noise. So I don't know if the microphone is picking that up. It yeah. seems like somebody. there's always something going on around here. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah it's always... I think they're cutting stones or pavers or something <laughs> they're cutting bricks yeah concrete yeah. bricks so if it wasn't that it'd be little timmy next door bouncing <laughs> a basketball or somebody with a leaf blower yeah. that'd be the other thing yeah all right so what's next i say let's let's go with these uh these fine boxes? these fine boxes crunch crunch creams we have a very vanilla new really crunchy Tear here. Okay. Do you want me to go next door and ask them to just <laughs> take five, take ten? Well, it says tear here, but. Sure. There we go. Mm. You know, I don't know if these are going to be too difficult. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> they are crumbly. They didn't lie about that. Are we going to have a whole one? Sure. We're going to be so full after this. Yeah, throw a caution to the wind. Very vanilla, because we've had crunch creams before, but these are new flavors. Yeah, that, This that, one's limited edition, the next one. <laughs> that, that scent of vanilla is really strong. Yeah. Mm. It's like nice. It. Now they're hammering. <laughs> it sounds like they're building an extension to the house. <laughs> It's nice too. Now we've had like two of them that are more plain biscuits with the vanilla cream in the middle. Yeah. Call me crazy, but does this seem to have more vanilla flavor than the sandwich cookie we just had? The sandwich biscuit? So yeah, probably. Mm. These taste more fattening to me than the other ones. I didn't compare calorie counts, but there's something about these that seem more, more fattening. Yeah. 
I don't know about you. These do have a sweeter flavor to them. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And the cream center, I know I've said this multiple times before. <laughs> and the Brit sandwich biscuits just seems creamier than our sandwich cookies biscuits that we have here. So it's pretty good. And next crunch creams we have are the limited edition apple crumble flavor. Mm. Sounds very good. Do you want to do the honors on that one? Oh, yes, I guess I would. They're here. They're here. Yeah. <laughs> I still had difficulty even when it said tear here. <laughs> no, no offense to the good people at Fox's. I see that it says tear here, but there's not like no line that says where exactly to oh, tear. Oh, wait a here. second. Yeah. Oh. I guess. Well, you know what? Maybe that little <laughs> red line shouldn't be in the inside. It should be on the outside. Foxes, you make wonderful products. This is my only gripe with you. <laughs> no, I just feel well, if we ate foxes all the time, we would just know. Yeah. <laughs> it's still not tearing very easily. It's still not. I need to do it. It was a little tricky on mine too. Wait. Hmm? There's a sweet spot to it. A sweet it spot. Came right off. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and have that there sweet spot biscuit? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna edit that, or how that's gonna be edited. Okay. Okay. After much struggling. <laughs> Oh. Smell that apple. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready? Mm hmm. Not mm -hmm. apple. Very mm -hmm. sweet. Somehow oh. sweeter than I expected. I don't know why, but. No. Oh. Mm. So. Strong apple flavor to it. That's creamy center. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, these are really good. We just don't have flavors like this here. Apple crumble. Maybe if we looked harder. Like maybe around fall, you think around fall we'd have something like that? I, th I think a stretch would be apple pie, <laughs> and I, I don't know if it would be as good as this. I, I, you're, you're, it's possible. So. Hmm. It's usually when all the apple flavored things come out. Yeah. But, um, That's kind of fun because you don't always see apple flavor in a biscuit, though. No. It's a bit different. That's what I was just thinking, you know, while well, I was thinking we probably would not see something very equivalent mm -hmm. to like this here. Now we did have at Jammy Dodgers, we had a limited edition apple flavor, didn't we? We did. Yeah. It was good. Mm -hmm. I don't like how it doesn't taste like artificial apple. It's very good. Yeah, it has a real apple flavor to it, which leaves us too. Next one I think we should try from Botham's of Whitby, Pink Sugar Shortbread. And ever since I saw these in our package, I've been so tempted by them. Mm -hmm. I like shortbread biscuits and yeah, dusted with pink sugar. Just look really yummy. Good. Okay. And I'll open on this side because it looks like it got a little bit uh, broken in transit, but that's okay. I don't know if we want to have this one broken in half. Sure. If you let me take the smaller piece. There you go. Oops, these are going to be a little messy with the sugar. Mm -hmm. Well, then. The thickness of it. Yeah, very thick. Bright pink sugar. And I'm wondering, now I don't know because I'm thinking, well, then will all the sugar fall off? Want to just kind of <laughs> dilute in your tea? <laughs> Probably. I'm going to take a bite first and then I'll try dunking. Yeah, I'll try dunking, then take a bite. Mmm. I always like shortbread. 
me too. Really like that buttery flavor. Mm hmm. These are super thick. Mm hmm. <laughs> I can see it melting the sugar on top. Mm. To me, that tastes like something homemade. Yeah. Mm hmm. Really like They're that. Very good. Mm hmm. Like the thickness of it, the buttery flavor. Mm hmm. Yeah, good choice. Maybe if we offer some of these to the people next door building, they'll stop <laughs> with a brick cutting for a little while. Yeah. I like this tea. I like it. Yeah, me too. How about you? Yeah, I like it. Which leaves us down to <coughs> one remaining biscuit. Our last one here from Waitrose, generously coated eight dark chocolate ginger biscuits. Okay. I know what you're thinking. The combination of ginger and chocolate. Always good. Always good. Let me do that. Where I failed with the, uh, <laughs> or I failed miserably with this one. That you have a chance to redeem yourself. Yeah. Get lots of little biscuit crumbs everywhere. Yeah, biscuit shrapnel. I feel like we've had something similar to these. I'm trying to remember if they were from Waitrose or just something that look similar. Or whether it was actually a Fox's biscuit that was similar to this. It's like cappuccino chocolate. Yeah. Those are so good. I'm trying to remember if the one was orange also. scent of chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Just the moment this was open. Get a nice. It has that dark chocolate scent to it. Ah, yeah. Which is, of course, my fave. Thank you. Yeah. Richard. You're and go. actually, the chocolate on here, look how thick that chocolate is. Yes, they're not joking when they say they're generous. It's like there's, it's like chocolate with a little bit of biscuit <laughs> in there. <laughs> no complaints there. Okay, you are going to dunk. Yeah. I'll give that a try because these felt a little firmer. Okay. Mm. Yeah, because mm. that's a lot of chocolate. Mm hmm. You get a lot of chocolate in that. And dark chocolate. Mm hmm. I know milk chocolate's your favorite, but mm -hmm. I don't think you would complain having biscuits like this with this amount of dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate too. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, dark chocolate for me is a food. That flavor of the, um, now was it ginger biscuits or was it ginger flavor with the chocolate? Does it say? It says dark chocolate coated ginger biscuits. Okay. Which, oh, reminds me of another one. One of our favorites is the, um, the ginger creams. Is oh. that what they were called, or was it another? No, I, I believe I know which ones you're talking about, and, and those were very good too. Yeah. Now I'm drawing a blank on them. I can. Cause remember, what were the the fiery ones? Yes, ginger nuts. Ginger nuts. Ginger nuts. I said ginger creams. I think that's another kind of. It's a cookie that we hear, but yeah, ginger nuts. Yeah, I, was, I, I really I, like the ginger nuts. Right. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time I heard ginger nuts. I thought they were ginger coated roasted nuts. nuts. Yeah. <laughs> These were all very, very good. Yeah, uh, I'm very full now. <laughs> yeah, especially after we had lunch. Yeah, and, we had lunch, and this is our dessert. It's like, oh boy. Yeah. I'm glad we only did halves on most of those. <laughs> most of them. But, young lady, of all these that we tried, what is your favorite? This is a tough call. And it may sound a little bit boring, but I just absolutely love shortbread. Oh, boring about so shortbread. these little sugar-covered shortbread, I, I just really like that. I love that buttery flavor. The sugar added something a little extra to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even. I'm not even sure what my second choice would be. They all were good in their own way. That apple crumble was very unique. 
I like having the apple flavor in there. Yeah. yeah. And also, I think the malted milk biscuits with the vanilla was very good too. Here I'm more of a chocolate person. I'm leaning towards the, the more plain vanilla ones. I don't know why that is. <laughs> why is that? How about you? Okay. okay. In the malted milk, malt category, I'm going to go with the vanilla. The vanilla. Yeah. yeah. Those were good. Mm -hmm. Of the foxes, like the like them both. But tell me about that apple crumble. At least it out. Mm -hmm. that apple flavor of it. Yeah. Enjoyed the pink uh, sugar shortbread. Again, tasted like something that was homemade. Enjoyed that butter flavor. But, oh, if I had to... <laughs> I'd, sorry, you can only pick one, sir. Yeah, these Waitrose chocolate mm. ginger. Mm. Oh, just absolutely love that ratio to chocolate to biscuit. Yeah, I was amazed how much chocolate was on there. And then being dark chocolate, that that really is a good one for you. Yeah, that's yeah. The cream in the coffee right there. These are all very good, though. Yeah. Thank you, Richard, for sending this variety to us mm -hmm. it's very fun to try yes thank you very much so let us know in the comments if you have tried any of these particular biscuits if you have a favorite i know some of these like the foxes come in a variety of flavors and and also we've, we've had the malted milk before but it seems like there are various companies that make the malted milk biscuits that they kind of look the same and i'm just kind of surprised by that because you don't see that as much here you know, they say, you can't do that. It looks too much like ours. <laughs> yeah. Don't know why. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let us just let us know if you have a favorite. We're sorry about the uh, the noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like someone's building a treehouse. So if you like food reactions, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also hit that notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.